Uh, right now, I want to take you live to Ground Zero in Manhattan as the U.S. marks the anniversary of the deadliest terror attacks ever to take place on American soil. Again, these are live pictures from Ground Zero, a scene that we have seen play out now for the past 21 years, of course, as Americans uh, mark today being the uh, 22 years after the attack. The hijacked planes, of course, flown into the World Trade Center. That looks like Vice President Kamala Harris uh, among the dignitaries this morning. I know President Biden is actually going to be at a service in Alaska. Uh, New York Mayor Eric Adams there as well. Of course, the World Trade Center Center uh, was the site of the heaviest number of casualties that day, but also the Pentagon in D.C. and a plane, of course, went down uh, in Pennsylvania as well. But again, that flag, the Stars and Stripes flag, unveiled outside the Pentagon earlier this morning. Overall, almost 3,000 people were killed on this day 22 years ago. The attacks also reshaping American foreign policy that led to the war in Afghanistan. And memorials are being held right across the U.S. today. As I mentioned, President Biden will be at a service at a military base in Alaska. This is back, though, live to Ground Zero in Manhattan, where the largest memorial will be taking place.